Russia and China for the last at least 10 years have been saying that nuclear negotiations, nuclear disarmament negotiations are likely uh, uh, impossible uh, because of U.S. missile defense deployments now encircling both those nations on the land and on sea. Uh, so really, uh, missile defense and now the coming uh, uh, space force that Trump has announced are l clear obstacles to nuclear disarmament, I believe, need to be addressed more than they presently are within the movement. A missile defense is the shield that would go along with the first strike sword that the U.S. annually practices at the U.S. Space Command where they have a computer war game called the red team versus the blue team. And in that uh, war game, the U.S. launches a first strike attack on Russia and China. And then when they try to fire their retaliatory capability, U.S. so-called missile defense systems, the shield, are used to pick off that retaliatory capability. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, probably two most egregious deployments uh, that uh, Russia is concerned about are the recent ones in po Romania and the one now going being built in Poland that are what are, that are called uh, Aegis Ashore. The Aegis Navy uh, ships made in Bath, Maine, near where I live, uh, with their standard missile three SM3 interceptor missiles, have had <clears throat> one of the better testing rates in the system. Various missile defense systems test uh, in, in different uh, ways. Some of them are more problematic than others, but the Aegis system has had the best. And so they've now begun to put them on the, on the land as well. Uh, they put one in uh, Kauai, Hawaii, uh, Romania, and now they're going into Poland. They would not only be able to fire uh, SM3 interceptor missiles from here, but also nuclear capable first strike attack cruise missiles that would be able to reach Moscow in 10 to 12 minutes from Romania and Poland. So these two systems, uh, these uh, two deployment systems in Eastern Europe are particularly, particularly of concern. Uh, the Global Network is organizing a study tour to Russia, leaving in about two weeks. Uh, we have about 20 people from several countries that are going. We're going to Moscow, uh, Crimea, and then St. Petersburg. And the purpose of this is to really confront and stand against this Western demonization of Russia and China, frankly, that is going on daily in our countries. Uh, we think that people need to increasingly stand up and speak out against this. Uh, when you add up all the U.S. military expenditures in the various pots of gold, it comes to about a trillion dollars a year that the United States spends on the military. Russia's expenditure is around 65, 66 billion dollars a year. And in fact, in the last two years, Russia has cut their military budget. So it's really quite clear to us who the aggressor is, and we think we need to talk about that publicly a lot more often than we do. The United States is now saying that uh, it's not going to do treaties anymore because they will restrict the Pentagon's ability to uh, be provocative and aggressive around the world. So the ABM treaty that uh, basically outlawed these missile defense systems uh, was uh, walked away from by the George W. Bush administration in 2002. The INF Treaty, that, uh, as you all know, in more recent times, the Iran nuclear deal that uh, Trump has walked away from. And the U.S. and Israel have for many years have been blocking the Peros Treaty at the U.N., the prevention of an arms race in outer space that could ban uh, weapons in space, close the door to the barn before the horse gets out. So I'll stop there. Thank you for inviting me and good luck to everyone.